This is why buffer overflows are so dangerous. Say we have this program, we have an input variable and a password variable. We get the input variable with scanf and we check it against the password variable. Let's compile this program and give it a wrong password. As you can see, the program says access denied as it's supposed to. Let's give it the correct password. And as you can see, we're allowed access. Now what's wrong with this program? If we go back to the program, we can see that we don't check if the input is actually four characters. In C, strings need the extra character at the end for the null terminator, which indicates the end of the string. We declared an empty string with five elements, one for the null terminator and four characters. However, there's nothing stopping us from inputting 10 characters. So again, why is this dangerous? Well, what we can do is that we can give it so much data that it actually overrides the password to whatever we want. Let me visualize the memory for this program. This is how the memory looks like. The input variable is at a lower address and the password is at a higher address. And since we don't do any bounds checking, if we put in 10 characters, let's say quadruple A in the null terminator and quadruple A in another null terminator, we can actually override the password with whatever we want it to be. This way we can trick the program into granting us access. We can do this through Python. Let's run the following command, which will do what I explained before. And as you can see, we are granted access.